It's a joy that in worship we could share in the sacrament of baptism. And I'm very happy to be able to welcome Robert and Sarah Callahan today as they bring their daughter forward for the sacrament of baptism. I want to welcome the family who's present and the friends. I welcome the grandparents, Nancy Callahan and Lewis Russ Callahan, and also Christine Wooten and William Wooten. We're glad that you're here and appreciate your sharing this family with us. And there's a bunch of aunts and uncles and cousins all around this baby too. And I see them all, Miles and Jennifer Callahan and Chris and Monica Callahan and Ashley and the cousins who are all here. And Emily Wooten and Vinnie Kachi will be the godparents standing with them. And Bob Coates is the elder representing the session. I thank you for coming from a distance. Folks are here from New York and from Boston for this baptism, from Massachusetts. Welcome. Let's gather at the font. Sarah and Robert, what a joy it is that you come to share this child with us. And what a joy it is that we once again get to stand at this fountain of God's promises. The sacrament of baptism is given to us by Jesus Christ as God has called us to it. This is the sacrament of our welcome, our ingrafting into the family of God. Here we remember that what God did in Jesus in his life and his death and his resurrection, God did specifically for this little girl. Here we remember our own baptisms and remember the faithfulness of God's promises to us. Let us pray together. We thank you, Lord, for this sacrament of your church, your church around the world. We thank you for all of those who are a part of the family of Jesus Christ and how the scriptures teach us of your faithfulness to your promises. We ask now that at this sacrament you would take this water and set it apart from a common to a sacred use and grant that what we do here on earth might be ordained in heaven. We pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Robert and Sarah, as you bring your daughter forward for the sacrament, I ask you if you're able once again to profess your own faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, are you? Yes. And will you seek to raise her in the nurture and admonition of the Lord? Will you seek to raise her in the Christian faith, will you? Yes. And you also have the opportunity to make promises as those who stand with them, as the representatives of the church, the body of Christ around the world, as brothers and sisters in Jesus who come to welcome her, can you promise to pray for these parents and this child as they partner with God in raising her? Can you promise to lift up the example of your own character, your Christian character, that seeing it, it might be a guide and an inspiration for her? Can you promise to help ensure that there exists in the world a church where she can grow up and learn the stories of Scripture? If you can support them in this way, please signify that by saying, I will. I will. What name shall be given to this child, her full name? Nicole Christine Callahan. Nicole Christine Callahan, child of the covenant, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And may the Spirit of God descend upon me and dwell within thee forever. Amen. I knew if I just kept preaching, she'd go back to sleep. <laughs> this is Nicole Christine. She's the newest and littlest member of our church. We want to welcome her together. And here in this congregation, we do that by singing. Let's sing together.
Please pray with me. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. We thank you, Lord, for Nicole Christine and for all that her life means in terms of promise and hope and joy for us. We pray that you would see her safely through childhood and adolescence, help her to grow in wisdom and character and faith before you, and bring her to her own good confession of faith before your people. We pray, O oh Lord, that you would give her parents and all who partner with them as they partner with you in the raising of her, the gifts they need for this task. Give them wisdom and patience and laughter and forgiveness and energy and some sleep and faith and hope and love, all of the things that you know they need, O oh Lord. And we pray not only for this precious little girl, and for the other children here gathered around us, but for all of your children, especially those who may be hungry today or in pain or living in the midst of fear and violence. Oh Lord, help them and use us as a part of your care, your compassion, reaching out to them. For we pray, remembering how Jesus said, let the children come unto me and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. This is a wonderful thing that God has done. She is a sign of God's goodness to us. Congratulations. Thank you for sharing her. Congratulations. Thank you for sharing. 